Ladies and gentlemen and game designers, we're going to do Getting to Know Unity Hello World. It's our first big little project. It's a big project, but it's super quick and easy. Here's what we're going to learn. Hit pause and read this and then tell me which of these concepts is totally dumb. This is what we're going to learn. Which of these things is totally dumb. Remember, if you see something in red, you have to write it down every time. Uh, don't forget to take notes. Do what I say. Do what the spiel says. If you're trying, if I ask you to do something you can't do, figure out how to do it, ask me how to do it, you need to do it. All right, getting to know Unity, hello world. Hello world is kind of like the, the first project we always do in programming. Like if you go to college and take computer science, you'll probably do a hello world assignment. All right, here we go. What makes Unity so great? Answer that question in your notes. What makes Unity so, so great? Um, so Unity, I like Unity. It's really functional. Um, it's easy to use. You can make some really good games with it. Um, it has advantages and disadvantages. Its biggest rival is Unreal Engine. I started with Unity, and I like I still like it. So um, I'm not switching. I haven't been. I don't have any compelling reason to switch to Unreal. But if at home you want to learn Unreal too, God bless you. That's a great idea. Anything you learn is going to be great. All right. Unity is a perfect. It's not like Greenfoot that was made. Greenfoot was made just for me to teach you computer science. Unity is made for professionals to make 2D and 3D video games. You can also do like simulations <clears throat> and you can do like, you can make like videos with it and that sort of thing. But we're going to use it to make 2D and 3D video games. Um, it targets a, a variety of platforms so you can make a game for the PC, for the Xbox, for the Mac, for the mobile phone, for, for Linux. So it can, you can make games for all sorts of things. Um, here's some good things about Unity. You can ask answer this question that we asked before. It has a ton of built-in features. So for example, you don't have to program gravity, it's built in. Like the collision detection is built in. Um, working with maps, built in. It does dynamic shadows, it does lighting. So a lot of stuff that you're gonna need is already built in so you can just get right into making a game. It's easy to work with. It has a good visual workflow. So like the, the screen, it makes it really nice to work with. Um, we already talked about it has a high degree of cross-platform support. You can make games for all sorts of things. And then it has a modular component system, which we're going to talk about here. I want you to read through this and um, try to understand that and ask me questions about it. Um, but basically, in Greenfoot, we had um, inheritance, which means we've, if we program stuff in Actor, then everything, all the scripts or all the code or all the methods an actor could do, a leaf and a wombat could also do. Okay. So in Unity, it's different because let's say you had an enemy that moved but didn't shoot. And you had an enemy that moved and shot. And then you had an enemy that shot but didn't move, right? Well, that would be kind of tricky to do in Greenfoot. You'd, you'd basically have to write separate code for each of these guys. But in Unity, you basically may write a script, write code that teaches this guy how to be an enemy, and you just drag it onto him and then just drop it onto him. And then you'd take enemy and drop it on this guy and this guy. So these guys all know how to do enemy stuff. But this guy and this guy, you want to move. So you write a you write some code or a script that teaches them how to move. And you drop it on this guy, you drop it on this guy. So these guys are enemies and they move. And then this guy doesn't move. So you don't put the, or no, this guy doesn't move. So you don't put the motion script on there. But this guy shoots and this guy shoots. So you write a script on how to shoot. Maybe add some other components, like maybe like a little 3D 3D weapon or something, a bow and arrow, and you drop that on these guys. So they, at any rate, so, th so it's, a, it's really, it's quicker and it's um, quicker and better to have this component system, more flexible. All right, answer this. And then this question, do, do subclasses in Unity inherit methods from their superclasses? I like, so, so Unity has a component system. Does it also have the inheritance system? And the answer is yes. Oh, this is little. I wonder if I can make this bigger. Well, let, I'm gonna, let's look at it. Right here it says public class hello world is a subclass. That, so that means a mono behavior. So mono behavior, it goes way back to the beginning of, of, of uh, Unity. And that's where all their um, methods are. So basically, this, this script that I'm writing here inherits all the stuff from mono behavior. So... Uh, so you can see right at the beginning of the code, yes, it does also have inheritance. Okay, um, and that's going to be some code that we're going to do later. 
Okay, so if I go to this website right here and I hit 42 more, these are games that were made with Unity. These are professional games. So look through that and I want you to see if you can try to play one at home. If you can play it in class, just let me know and try to play it in class. But your homework is to play a game made in Unity and then tell me what it was and tell me what you thought. Okay, and then, oops, then um, answer this question, what game did you play? How did you like it? And then I want you to go to the arcade machine, machine and play a game that students made last year. Okay, um, so play some games and then answer these questions. Okay, so we need to take a look at the Unity interface, right? So we have we have the scene and the game tabs and the hierarchy. And over here, we have the inspector and we have the project and console. Okay, and then, so let's figure out how to, to do all that. So I want you to open up this project, okay? Open up this project. Mine is probably in the same spot. So what, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the Unity Hub. That's how you open stuff. So whenever you're working on a project, this is how you open stuff. So you click open, and then you're going to go to documents. You're going to go to, you, I think it's the same path. Let me just use the path I showed you before. And then we're going to go to sample kids, and then you're going to click hit open, okay? And then you can go to this thing, okay? All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to open this, and I want you to, so we're going to be in the scene, and I want you to be able to move around. So you can use the scrolly wheel to move around. You click and drag. Uh, you can move things around. Okay, if you if you if you use the if you click the right button, you can move around. If you press Alt and if you hit Alt and click on the right button, you can zoom in and out. So there's lots of things you can do. All right, so be, I want you to be able to figure play around, figure out how to navigate through the scene. Now make sure again you're in the scene tab. If I hit on the game tab, it takes me. This is where it's gonna, I can mess around in here, but this is what, where I'm going to go right when I when I hit play. Okay, okay. But let's go back to the scene tab. The other thing is, is you can click right here and you can move stuff around. I can move this sphere around. I so I can move it. I can rotate it. Okay, which won't make a difference on a sphere, or I can scale it. Okay, so I want you to be able to show me how to navigate through the scene, and I want you to be able to show me how to. Um, manipulate an object in the game okay um and like this this guy here you can move him around oh no i just scaled him i'm gonna press Control z Control z Control z um let me see let's see what else we can do if i click on this i think i moved like the whole lake it moves up yeah these these th these things are big chunks so that's the sphere is whatever okay um enough of that let's go back Okay, so open the sample project. Um, did that. Okay, show, be able to show me how to do this. Be able to show me how to transform and rotate objects. You can look at this. Gives you some ideas on how to navigate through the scene. We already learned how to move, rotate, and scale objects. What is a mesh object? Everything we saw in there was a mesh object. Write this down. Hit pause and write that down. Okay. Um, -la 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 oh, let's hit play. So if I hit play, then I'm actually playing the game. Okay, this game doesn't have much to it, but I can look around. It's like a first person scenario. I can look around. So I'm using the arrow keys and stuff. So you can, that's about all there is to this, this game. Okay. But, and then when you're, when you want to be done, his escape and then you like, oh, I want to stop. So play and stop. Okay. So be, make sure you're able to, to play and stop. Okay. Other things that we want to look at, I'm going to the scene tab. So if I click on this, this is the hierarchy. This shows all the stuff that's in my game. Okay. This is the inspector. So let's take a look at, let's look at the player instead. So this was the guy, this was the guy who was moving around when we were moving around. So the player has a script, a C-sharp script attached to him. He has a character controller, some things that just help him um, not like be able to bump into things in the world, that sort of thing, like he's supposed to. So he's got some components that have been dragged onto him. Okay, so that we can look at the hierarchy and see all the stuff in the world. And then if we click on these things, we can see all of um, all of the components 
that have been added to that guy. Okay. Um, if we look down here, we can look through all the files of the project. So all the um, all the mesh objects and all the scripts we can find down here. And then the console gives us some error messages. All right. And then up here at the top, we have our regular menus that you'd expect. And then we can switch between the scene, the game, and then the asset stores where we can uh, buy or or borrow stuff for free. Okay. All right. Let's keep moving. Okay, write this down. Inspector shows information about the current project. Write that down. Hierarchy shows it. Write that down. Write that down. Um, okay, so we're going to write code in C Sharp, which is pretty similar to Java. Um, Unity refers to the code that we write. The files are called scripts. So we're going to be writing C Sharp scripts. All right, answer these questions in your notes, and then turn your notes. Well, well don't turn your notes in because you have to take the pre-practice and we have more to do, uh, so don't turn these notes in, but take these, answer these questions in the notes.